One of the worst questions I ever got asked was in a college interview. I sat down, introduced myself to the interviewer, and the first question he asked was, So, who are you? My initial reaction was to ask what he wanted to know. My head was running through all the possible answers I could give him. Did he want my GPA, SAT, my unweighted GPA? How about something different? My birthday, height, weight, social security number? How about my library card number? Is that what he wanted? I don't remember much of that interview after he asked that question, but I do remember thinking about it for days, wondering what I could have answered, creating new answers for if I ever face that question again. Even now, I'm not certain what I should answer. I know where I start. I start with the most important aspect. I'm a Christian. I believe in God, that he sent his son to die for my sins. From there, though, where would I go? Would I go to my family, to my dad, who constantly encourages me to do what I want to do, to pursue math and science, and who spent countless hours helping me through my math homework? Or my mom, who I'm basically a mirror image of, just with slightly different mindset? Do I go to my brother, who, for as long as I can remember, has been pushing me to be better simply to maintain my authority as the oldest sister? Or to my younger sister, who I would quite possibly kill for? Or would I go through my favorite moments, running in the pouring down rain with my sister, late night trips to Safeway for ice cream, the countless, 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 absolutely insane things we did at youth group, including a lecture on why penguins are the secret guardian of an ice wall. I don't understand it either. Do I choose the time we made it to state in volleyball and screamed our heads off in the locker room? How about helping Ellie learn to walk or watching Moana with Alexis for the 50th time? Do I go to playing at the park with the triplets at two years old or fast forward to watching them perform in their dance class at four? Would I choose to talk about the girls I've essentially adopted as my sisters? Alexis, the mini genius. Ellie, the sweetest, most laid back of ball of sass. Claire and her insistence on doing things right. Julia and her testing but joyful spirit. Maggie and her love for everyone, including her sisters. How about Gabby and Ashley and Lily, who I've no watched grow up over the past five years? Or there's Ashlyn and Kennedy, my volleyball partners turned surrogate sisters, who I constantly worry over because they sleep as little as I do. Then there's Charlie and Abby, who each remind me of the best parts of myself and inspire me to be a better role model and surrogate big sister, too. How about Izzy, the friend I've known longest who knows me better than anyone in the world? Or Greta, who's put up with a lot of craziness for me? What about my actual sister, who constantly pushes me to be better simply because she's so amazing herself? Would I talk about the highs I've been through? Writing my graduation speech with Izzy the morning of, studying at 6 a.m. during spring break with my friends because that's the only time we were all available, creating a parody of a Hamilton song for a math extra credit project, playing piano with Greta for hours before realizing that my parents expected me home two hours before, or would I talk about the highs and lows and what they taught me? How through countless years of JV and struggling with a disappointment, I got to be a mentor and a leader, the very thing I'd been praying for, that every college rejection letter I received made it more and more clear that while it's not wa what I wanted, God wanted me at UDUM. Would I talk about the things I love, of dance and piano and science, of getting dressed up with my friends or late night movies or crying on the floor with my roommates from laughing too hard? With countless memories, experiences, failures, and successes, how could I ever choose just a handful to share? Because ultimately, I'm a product of every single thing I've mentioned and so much more. Things that are greater than my GPA or my SAT could ever be. I like to think all of this made me into a joyful person who loves to learn, who looks forward with both arms open, ready to embrace what comes next. And that's who I want to be.